whatever India, what is happening in India, which we don't want to ignore. The major contingents of the Indian left movement, CPM and CPI, and there are other leftist forces, CPI, Yemen Liberation, SUCI Communist, RSP, Forum Law. The last two parties are not present here, but they are present elsewhere. All these leftist forces have been suffering some setbacks, which is the reality. How are we going to overcome this situation? This is a question, a big question. And if we want to overcome the present setbacks, which is only temporary, let me underline that, these setbacks are temporary. So far as CPIM is concerned, when I say CPIM has suffered some setback, I take two minutes to present the accurate picture. Setback, of course, there is setback. But in the state of Tabura, there is no setback. Both the Lok Sabha seats in Tabura, the leftist forces together what? CPM, RCP4, Pro, PRN, Leftist, Left Front, all 55 and 60 percent vote we got in both the Lok Sabha seats. In Tribura, we have improved our position. So in Tribura, there is no setback. On the contrary, we have only improvement. In Kerala, out of 20 Lok Sabha seats, in 2009 Lok Sabha seat, we got only four seats. In 2014, recently held Lok Sabha election, we in Kerala improved our strength from 4 to 8. We retained all the 4 seats we had and we won 4 more seats. So we have doubled our strength in Kerala, which is also a fact. So the setback for the Sofara CPIM is concerned. Both in Kerala and Tribunia, we have improved our position. That's the fact. But still we have a setback because the state of West Bengal he suffered a huge reversal. And Bengal being the strongest seat, and Bengal being a state with 42 Lok Sabha seats, the setback he suffered in Bengal is showing up in the overall strength of the CPIM in Lok Sabha in a big way, and that is telling upon the presence of CPI also in Lok Sabha in a big way. You get from Kerala, CPI what they see. That includes the four additional seats we have on. These facts I have narrated to set the record straight, not to downplay the severity of the setback. The setback is severe. But in the state of Bengal in 1972, we had a similar setback. And when the face of Comrade Jodhibas came in the documentary, Comrade spontaneously express their inspiration and in 1972 election which was rigged the bourgeois landlord political parties declared that Robert Bodhibas was also lost those days I was a school student I was a college student pre-degree student pre-degree is now part of the school I remember do you remember the name of the constituency? Balan. I, I was just testing whether the comments are remembering. I am very happy. Balan constituency. But that, during that election, when the first round of polling took place, party realized that it's a rigged election. So, Comrade PDG, Comrade Pramod Das Gupta, 
the impeccable organizer of the Indian Communist Movement, who did not go for any parliamentary position ever. Not that parliamentary position is wrong or something. He stuck to organizational, communist organizational responsibility to work. Our PDG came and held a press conference and said that this election is rigged, therefore CPIM and the left, we are not contesting, we are not participating, we are not allowed to participate in many places. So we are formally announcing it. So to show up that that election was not totally rigged, Congress and their friends declared that seven, eight or nine of our comrades got elected. Around that, I remember one comrade who was supposed to have been elected like that, that was Dinesh Majunda, the leader of the movement organization. But we did not fully participate in the assembly proceedings. From that semi-fascist terror attack in 1977, the red flag stayed there, come back. So in Bengal has that tradition of suffering semi-fascist attack and then valiantly coming back. Let us wish and hope that such comeback would be possible. Now, I would be failing in my duty if I don't mention a very important point, which is the leftist forces will be able to stand a comeback in Tamil Nadu, in India, and other parts of the globe. We would be able to stand a comeback only if we make sincere and self-critical introspection. What went wrong in the effort? We cannot claim that CPM or other leftist parties, I cannot speak about all other leftist parties. Here I am. So far as the question of self-criticism is concerned, I can't find CPM because I cannot impose self-criticism on other comments. Of course, the very leftist party and the very communist party what the name would undertake the process of self-criticism. CPIM cannot and will not say that all that we did were correct, right, scientific things. If we claim that all we did were right, correct, and scientific things, then the influence of CPIM should not be this. There is some disconnect with various sections of people in society. After having self-critically analyzed the latest Lok Sabha election, our Sangha Committee adopted a document where we candidly admitted that there is some alienation from various sections of people taking place. That is also the reason for the setback. Various sections of people, workers, persons, youth, Adivasis, women, who have been supporting the left forces are through. Some sections among them are getting distanced from the left and even from CPI here, especially in Bengal. The reasons for this yeah, disconnect should be identified and until and unless we make dispassionate, sincere self-criticism and corrective measures, it would be difficult for us to win back the support of those who were supporting us and winning back the lost support itself is not sufficient. Left has to emerge as a most important political force in our country. That is possible. For which, first of all, various leftist parties and groups should come together. That is what is happening now. Now, since 
left this party start sitting together. CPM, CPI, RSP, Forward Law, CPI, Ember Liberation, and SUCI Capulation. In the state of West Bengal, 17 leftist and progressive parties are working together, coming together. Various party, leftist parties and groups coming together is important, but there are many leftist groups and individuals, not just the leftist parties. There are leftist groups and individuals who need to be mobilized. But the most important task is all sections of workers, peasants, women, youth, and various marginalized sections in society. A vast segment is either in various other bourgeois national parties or bourgeois landlord regional parties. Then there are substantial sections of workers, persons, and other sections of people, especially youths, women, and students, who are not aligned to any political party at all. They are not political. The ruling segments and corporate media, they consciously keep these large sections of people depoliticized. It's a huge task to reach out to all sections. And the most crucial and strategically important aspect is how we can reach out to 